let's talk just a little bit about the Mars Razor. Did a shave with this again a few days ago until some growth has come back. Maybe about two days ago. And um, <clears throat> ironically, the same day, the creator of the Razor had made some comments on a previous video I did on it, talking about everything. And I told him that I had the idea of this video. I just kind of wanted to put out there. My opinion, who is this razor for? Um, the reason I say that is because the razor, I mean, first off, is for anybody that wants a nice, comfortable, close shave. All right. It works great. It's made well. It's extremely durable. Um, it's a nylon material. It's, again, I think he said similar to like a 3D printed type device, but it's, you know, it's, it's not, um, this, you know, will the colors change a little bit with, you know, getting wet and stuff like that. This has been dried out for a couple of days. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, you know, I guess it could, you could say it develops a bit of a patina of sorts, uh, much like any metal razor would. I don't see any wear or anything on here, which is good because I had a one blade razor that did get wear in the corners. You know, when you push the blade back through here, um, and eventually the blade would not stop anymore. It kind of went all the way through and had to be thrown out. I believe there's actually probably a video about that on there, on here. Um, so who, who is the blade for? for? <clears throat> well, Rob, the creator, said it, it was kind of like for him when he started with wet shaving. He wanted to be able to try different levels, um, different things like that. So one might say, okay, that's a good idea because you have the... You have 10 different gaps or plates that you can try. Um, I honestly don't know if like one through four are even worth messing with. I would say probably five through eight would be where most people are going to use. He even suggests starting with the number five. Um, maybe some, you know, I don't know, you know, some maybe leg shaving or something, maybe like a one or two. I don't honestly I think five through eight probably all you'd really would need nine or ten could be pretty extreme um, so that being said why not just get an adjustable razor like this to try out different levels yeah and, and there's you could I mean there's not a this is just another option all right this is also it has a cool factor to it that is kind of gadgety. That's what I like about it. So my answer to that question would be, who would this razor be for? Would be like a gadget geek, a gadgeteer, a collector of razors, or something like that. Somebody who's into just cool stuff. Um, but I, yeah, I never, you know, I keep reminding myself of the first shape of this. I was like, man, I'm, I don't know, you know, I don't have feel how I feel about it because it didn't have a lot, a, a lot of feedback or whatever to the shave it just felt like it was just shaving you know not doing a whole lot which was really cool because the after shave feel post shave was just absolutely amazing really enjoyed it and every time i've used this i probably have four or five shaves on this and every time it's just absolutely smooth um <clears throat> sometimes right in here it's kind of hard for me to get smoothed out sometimes so i have to go back you know after the shave and touch it up and it's not a problem i can always touch it up i've yet to get any sort of irritation with this whatsoever i in fact, i'm not a fan of injector blades they're okay you know but um i'm not going to rush out and buy a case of them or anything you know i got some they're cool whatever that's fine but um yeah is what it is my only concern would be with the little set screw here as you tighten it in over time and i highly doubt it could you kind of wear that part out right there where it goes into and i feel like even if you did there's so much thread on this set screw that it would you know 
it would be microscopic millimeters and would be like a lifetime before you even got close to doing that. You're told not to cinch it down. I go till I can't move it by hand, just, you know, barely. And that's it. I mean, it's all you need. Yeah, you back it off just enough to get it out of the way. Boom, simple as that. So I would think no. I don't think if it ever did become a problem, you could drop a little you know, piece of metal or something in there and be just fine. Um, but seriously, it's so much with all those extra threads to go through. I mean, it would be a long, long time before that happened. Possibility, I don't, I don't know. I mean, how hard is this stuff to drill through? You know, I, I think it's pretty tough that you would take a lot of force that this little set screw would probably never would do it. All right. Is there anything I don't like? Yes, I don't like these holders. I've, I've mentioned this before. Um, and I thought, okay, maybe make it a little bit wider, you know, so you don't have this sliding back and forth. Nah. i tell you what I want. I would like to have it, you know where this clicks? Make this click. Make the holder click. Um, but click down. I don't need this top piece, really. <clears throat> Not necessary. So save that material. Well, that's a perfect example of what I don't like about it. Um, good grief. It's all right. But yeah, if we could make this to where it would just, you know, right in place there, I'd be so pleased with that. We don't need, you know, a slide magnet for it. And I'm sure it could probably be easily done. Um, other than that, I mean, let's see some other things. Uh... Let's talk about holders and such. So this is a 3D printed holder. It doesn't really like to fit. It can kind of fit there. I think it fits better up here. Where I found it fits the best is in its own holder. Okay. That needs to be mounted. It will be. I've tried, you know, this is made for pens and stuff or whatever. Eh, kind of goes in there, but not really. We could easily slide out of place right there. But you could put something there to fix it if you wanted to. And lastly, a one like so. Okay. I actually really like this holder. Very, very durable. Very durable. Let's close this down. Oh, come on. Get on there. All right. There's no way. Ah, I, hey, look at that. It does actually work in there. It actually works in there better than the others. Huh. Maybe I got a new home for it. I like that. Just slide right in. Pick it up. Slide it right in. That's pretty good. All right. Well, never mind. I started that with, I was going to tell you, the best place i found for it has actually been its own holder that's made for it. Um, but I don't know that they're going to be made much longer. Um, yeah, it fits really good in there. And uh, yeah, you can mount that to your wall or whatever. It's really nice in there. I'm going to do a little more shaving with this. going to have... Um, <clears throat> Some different areas, uh, body shaving and leg shaving done with this. Try it out and kind of get some comments and feedback on it and kind of go from there. Um, trying to think, is there anything I would I would change, man? No, you know, it's it's a great, you know, with the razor itself, with the shave. No, it's, it's fun. It's great. Who's it for? I mean, like I said, somebody, you know, that's into gadgety stuff, just wants to add something different, cool to your collection. Um, you want to support a... You know, small business owner or, you know, an entrepreneur, inventor, what have you. You know, whatever you want to call Rob. Uh, any, anything like that. So, give it a shot. Try it out. See what you think. You know, you might find something you like or don't like about it. But I do think you'll like the shave. And that's the most important part.